Sample Tank 3 has three main pages, Play, Mix, and Edit. Let's take a look at the Mix page. Click the Mix button to open a console-style mixing board. Here each of the 16 parts is represented by a mixer channel. At the top are the five insert effect slots. Click on a slot to open the effect browser where you can choose an effect to load. You can also replace the currently loaded slots with new effects in the same way. The currently selected effect will appear in the effects panel at the bottom of the screen where you can edit all its parameters. To move an effect from one slot to another, hold down Command and click Drag. Use the control key on Windows systems. To copy an effect from one slot to another, hold down Shift Command and click drag. Use Shift Control on Windows systems. To save a set of insert effects, click the plus button underneath them, then enter the name for your saved channel effect. The lock icon lets you preserve the same effects on a channel even when new instruments are loaded. For example, Let's say you set up a great guitar tone signal chain, but you want to try some different guitar samples through it. Click the lock icon and Sample Tank 3 will preserve your effects chain while you try out different instruments. Note that all Sample Tank 3 instruments have custom programmed effects, so it's generally best to leave the effects lock off and only use it for specific editing purposes like the guitar example I described. Beneath the insert effects are the channel effect sends. Each part has four sends. Click the send number you want to work with, then use the knob above it and set the send amount. All sends are post fader by default. Post fader means that the send level gets modified by the position of the volume fader below. When you turn down the volume fader, the send gets lowered also. If you want to make a send pre fader so that the volume fader does not affect it, click the pre button for that send. Each channel also has a pan slider and volume fader, as well as mute and solo buttons. These are the same controls that appear in the part viewer on the play page. If you make a change here, it will also change the equivalent control on the play page and vice versa. Scroll the mixer to the right and you'll see the four effect return channels. The four sends on each of the part channels send their signal to these returns. This lets you use one or more common effects with many instruments simultaneously. Reverb and delay effects are typically put here, but you can also put EQs and dynamics processors in the returns as well to use them as groups. This is handy for processing multiple instruments of a drum kit or several elements in a rhythm track. At the far right is the master channel, the main output of Sample Tank 3. Here you can insert mastering effects like EQ, compression, and limiting, or even some master reverb if you like. There's a master pan slider and master volume fader here to control the overall output of Sample Tank 3. At the bottom of each channel is the output selector. These default to the main output pair, but you can change them to send through different output pairs in your DAW. This is useful for doing additional effects processing outside of Sample Tank, or for recording the output of Sample Tank to multiple audio tracks simultaneously. Then at the top right of the mix page, you have three buttons. Click the guitar icon to display instrument icons on each of the part channels in place of the insert effects. This can help you to quickly see which instrument is on which channel. 
Next, we have instrument and multi menu buttons that are the equivalent of the menu buttons on the play page on the instrument and multi tabs. Click the instrument button to save, save as, rename, or delete your user instruments. Let's say you made some changes to an instrument's effects here on the mix page and you want to save that instrument to use in other multis. Click the instrument button, select save as, enter a new instrument name, and store your edited instrument. The multi button lets you perform the same operations for the currently loaded multi. As you make changes to the volume, pan, send levels, return effects, and other mix parameters, you can quickly save your multi here under the multi menu, just like on the play page under the multi tab. <laughs>